Howdy everybody, it's the Soda Jerk with the SodaJerk.net with another soda review. Today's soda review is Mountain Dew Voodoo. Are we on five? Are we on Mountain Dew Voodoo five? It's probably five, but it's 2023's Mountain Dew Voodoo. Look, there he is. There's the, where's the Grim Reaper? There he is, the, the Grim Reaper bringing us does he have a name does this character have a name i don't know that he does anyway there's some sort of uh, mummy in the background here with a mohawk and glasses i'm always impressed by the mountain dew artists ideas and things the mummy has a chain on its neck i don't know what it says anyway this is their mystery flavor for the year although 20 minutes before i started this review i saw that they revealed the mystery flavor so i know what this is but i won't spoil it actually i'm gonna spoil it i'm gonna spoil what this is i'm gonna see if it tastes like what i think it i'm gonna see if it tastes like what the answer is but now that my brain's already been influenced it's gonna be hard not to but first the ingredients <laughs> Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, natural and artificial flavor, gum arabic, caffeine, sodium benzoate, preserves freshness, sodium citrate, potassium sorbate, preserves freshness, glycerol ester of rosin, can't wait to look up what that one does, calcium disodium EDTA, to protect flavor. Bald under the authority of PepsiCo Incorporated, approach New York, 10577. How many grams of caffeine are in this? Uh, 91 milligrams of caffeine for every 20 fluid ounces. 73 grams of sugar. That's a whole lot of sugar. No need for the shot glass this week. As you can see, it's just kind of a cloudy. I got the, I got the, uh, woohoo. That's fun. But as you can see, it's just kind of like a cloudy white, cloudy opaque. Fun noises made. Smell is kind of a vague fruit smell. I wouldn't be able to pick out any one fruit just by sniffing it. I mean, no. I mean, who's going to do that? What, what person is going to do that besides me going... Yeah, I can't get anything out of it. So you just, it's there's no when you first open it, there's no discernible particular scent. The taste is cherry. Mm, that's kind of weird. Okay, it's definitely cherry in flavor. Um, I thought it was a little dry at the end. It does taste a little bit dry at the end of the sip. Carbonation-wise, also fairly weak. There's not a lot of carbonation here. Wait, let me face the product. Ooh, there's not a lot of carbonation in this beverage. Just enough to give it some texture, but it's pretty... I don't want to call it flat, but it's up there. This is like the Kansas of Mountain Dews. It is, it is pretty flat. <laughs> not a lot of, not a lot of bubble, but maybe that allows me to get the candy taste, the mystery taste. So, it's a cherry flavor. It's an artificial cherry flavor. It's not particularly. It's it's good. I'm glad it's I'm glad it's a once a year kind of thing. I, this is not a flavor I need all the time. Um, but it's, it's okay. The flavor, I'm going to tell you the flavor now. So, spoilers. The flavor is cherry airheads. That's the flavor. I, I don't know that I would have got cherry airheads from this tasting it. But knowing that that's the flavor, I see it. Um, there's a 
gonna sound negative, a waxiness to it, like an airhead. Um, and the most positive spin I can put on this. And look at those colors though, that purple and blue. That's a, this, it's a good looking label. I like that label. Mystery flavor. You'd think they'd tell you in like October or when it was closer. I wonder if Airheads just wanted to be promoted. That was part of the contract. No idea. Anyway, I'll probably finish this bottle and not drink anymore. I don't I don't need to search it out. It's tasty. It's an artificial cherry. And it I just need a little more car a little bit more carbonation. Maybe we'll find that in. Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Voodoo 2023 Mystery Flavor. See what I did there? Uh, it's like kind of a bait and switch, but I didn't fully bait. I'm... Um, nope, not making that joke. Alright. I was gonna make a joke on how I'm not... My prowess is not baiting. It was, it was too sophomoric. Ingredients. Carbonated water, citric acid, natural and artificial flavor, sodium benzoate, preserves freshness, potassium citrate, caffeine, aspartame, gum arabic, asulfame potassium, sucralose, potassium sorbate, preserves freshness, glycerol ester of rosin, calcium disodium EDTA, to protect flavor, contains phenylalanine, also, bottle of the Authority Pepsi Incorporated version New York, 10577. See how much caffeine is in? 68 milligrams for 12 fluid ounces. Still plenty of caffeine, zero sugar. What we got on this? We got this fun gesture on this one. Oh, pardon me. Ooh, better look at the mummy though. Look at that mummy. What's he pointing at? He's Oh, his hand is leaning on the 2023 tombstone. That's a good mummy. Are you my mummy? So that's the scariest line ever spoken in an episode of Doctor Who. Are you my mummy? It's a messed up, it's a messed up episode. Um, it is five. It's in the flame. I gotta have 12 of these. I don't want 12 cans of this, but I couldn't find a bottle of it. So, work gets 12 cans. Crack it open. That went more places than I wanted it to. Actually, maybe it's because I already tasted it. But the scent is a lot more cherry when coming from a can. Or maybe it's because it's just that much closer to the top. That's probably it. No. That tastes like artificial cherry. I never like making this comparison. This tastes like um, cough syrup. This tastes like a cherry cough syrup. Which, you know, if you like cherry cough syrup, not a bad thing. It doesn't have the, you know, the the mentholness of cherry cough syrup. That's the first thing I think of when I take a sip from it. I'm trying to have a better... Maybe, maybe if you got some maraschino cherry juice and just drank that. But it does taste a bit more artificial than the other in a, in a more chemical way. It's not... It's not bad. I prefer the sugar full to the zero sugar in this case. That said, as zero sugar sodas go, it's acceptable. Um, there are better ones, there are worse ones, but if you find yourself drinking this, you're not gonna be like, blah, gross. Maybe you will. I don't know you. You don't know me. I mean, you know me for what? Five to 10 minutes of video? That's all you know. And let's keep it that way. Yeah, the aspartame, sucralose, kind of shine through a little bit more on this. Maybe shine's not the word I want to use. Uh, Carbonation-wise, it's just a just a hint. This feels like it has a little bit more, or it's a little more present. Maybe it's because it's a can compared to bottle. 
but it's still fairly, it's not textureless, but it's, it's lower in texture than I expect other um, canned sodas. But it's okay. But I kind of got like a, a little bit medicinal cherry in this one with some of that dry aspartame on the back end. I'll pick up the sugar version. I won't pick up any of them again. But um, if, if in, all, in all these scenarios, I always picture, if I was at a friend's house and he says, and I said, hey, you got something to drink? And he goes, yeah, I'll grab a couple things out the fridge. And he comes back with either one of those. I'll be like, eh, weird choice, but I'll drink it again. And that's the truth on this one. Whenever I picture drinking something again, but not of my own volition, it's that scenario. I'm at a friend's house, they, which I never go to anyone's house, really. Um, and they go, can I get you something? And I go, yeah, whatever they bring me. That's, that's me going, I'll try these again if presented with them. Would I buy this again? No, I probably wouldn't buy it again. Am I glad I tried it? Always. You should always try new things. Especially if it's as much of a soda. Like, even though I wouldn't... You may listen to me talk about this. You did just listen to me talk about this. But if you hear me talking about this, I always want you to try it. I'm just telling you my opinion of it. I mean, yours could be completely different. But two bucks, new experience, well worth it. You know what else is well worth it? That's pretty slick. TheSodaJerk.net. With over 1,000 soda reviews, the TheSodaJerk.net is your one-stop shop for pop reviews. It is. It's the place for that. The TheSodaJerk.net. I haven't tried them all. Yet. Thank <laughs> you.